Hi everyone, thank you for joining us today for a virtual tour of Vulcan Park and Museum. I'm Casey and I work in the education department here. I am so excited to have you and I hope that you enjoy this introduction to our museum which focuses on the history of the city of Birmingham and of course Vulcan himself. If you have any questions please comment below and be sure to follow us on social media for updates and info about our next episode. Welcome to Vulcan Park and Museum. My name is Gary Bostani and I'll be your docent today. And we're going to take a tour of Vulcan and you're going to learn the history, Birmingham's history from the late 1870s all the way to present day Birmingham. So I want you to take a look at this wall behind me. It just goes to show you that you can make anything out of iron. If you can think of it, you can make it out of iron. Now all these items are functional items, they're made for a purpose like the sewing machine or the radiator or the fire hydrant or the uh, truck engine for example. Well Vulcan is considered art, he doesn't do anything but he's considered sculpture, not something like behind the wall. The point of this wall is that we want to show you that you can make anything out of iron. However, you have to maintain it. Uh, for example, Vulcan is outside, he's exposed to the elements. And we have to constantly keep him clean and paint him because if you don't, he'll start to rust and it'll turn back into that red, rocky, powdery stuff that he once came from. These items, however, are inside our museum in the lobby and they don't require much maintenance. Uh, and they'll last hundreds and hundreds of years as long as they're not exposed to the elements. So we wanted to show you this example that you can make anything out of iron. And the recipe goes back thousands of years. It hasn't changed. Let me give you some facts about Vulcan. Vulcan is the largest cast iron statue in the entire world. He's 115 years old. He's over 56 feet tall. And he weighs over 110,000 pounds. He's put together in 21 gigantic pieces. And he's also the 14th largest statue in the United States. Again, he is the largest cast iron statue in the entire world. And he was made right here in Birmingham in 1904 to represent all the people in the World's Fair in St. Louis, Missouri. The population of Birmingham in 1904 was roughly 40,000 people. And everybody either worked directly or indirectly in the iron and steel industry. So there was a huge fair in St. Louis and all the city leaders got together and said, you know, we're not being represented, so what can we do? They said, well, let's build a gigantic statue out of iron. And it was almost inconceivable at that time but they were able to do it. So that's why Vulcan is here today. And the reason he's here today is because Birmingham is one of the rarest places on the entire planet that has all three ingredients that you need to make iron and steel. And that is iron ore, limestone, and coal. They are abundant within a 75 mile radius of Birmingham and mines are all over this mountain even as far as Tuscaloosa. Also, there was what's called the Old Mineral Railroad. And that railroad was about 150 miles of tracks. And it collected all the rocks, the iron ore, the limestone, and the coal to take to the foundries downtown where they made all the iron and steel. So that's why and how it all started right here.